we're live? We're live. Ooh. Somebody let us know if you can hear us. Welcome to Wildcat and, Stadium. You got a phone ring in there, bud. Oh, it's just my sister. You're a very important guy. Well, I am important, but that had nothing to do with the phone call. Well, welcome to Wildcat Stadium. Cats are fixing to take on the Falcons of Blair Oaks. Um, set the starting pitch was set for 1 o'clock. Blair Oaks was a little late getting here, so we're uh, about 45 minutes or an hour or so behind schedule. But, the, in a positive note, the sun is out, and it actually isn't miserable outside. It is not bad. And look at the flag. It's just laying there. So, no wind right now. Here we go. We're going to announce starting lineups first. Chain Gang Sports says we sound good. Well, so, the question would be, are you talking about me or are you talking about Chase? Oh, they're talking about me. Without a doubt. Falcons, leading off and playing first base, number 29, Hayden Lackman. Hitting second, the catcher, number 28, Nolan Laughlin. Batting third and playing third base, number one, Warren Davis. Batting it's a good name, up, Warren Davis. It's a good firm name. They've got another Liebert on David their team. Right this year, you remember the lefty? Oh, yeah. He's a freshman, but he's not a lefty. Batting sixth and playing shortstop, number 26, Evan McCullough. And Blair Oaks comes out of the Kansas City area, seven, correct? I always Jeff, City. Jeff City. Jeff City area. Harrison Lear. I had the city part right. Batting eighth and playing center field, number 15, Owen Shelmer. Batting ninth and playing second base, number 11, Brock Bird. On the mound, number 13, Riley and the head coach of the Falcons is Mike Milia. Now we're going to announce our cats. Now the starting lineup for your Logan Rogersville Wildcats. Leading off and playing third base, number 12, Nate Akins. Nate Akins will be leading off and playing third base. Batting second, the designated hitter, number one, Ross Lawrence. DH and Ross Lawrence. Hitting third and playing left field, number seven, Jackson Rousey. Left fielder, Jackson Rowdy, Rousey, batting third. Rowdy. And playing second base, number five, Carter Hill. Carter Hill at second base, batting fourth. Batting fifth, the catcher, number 13, Zane Hunter. Batting sixth and playing right field. Zane number Hunter six, catching. Tegan Trent. Tegan Trent will be in right field, batting seventh. Seventh and playing first, first seven, base. Sixth. Number 19, Braden Kent. Braden Kent's at first base, batting seventh. Batting eighth and playing shortstop. Number two, Ethan DeSanti. Ethan DeSanti will be at shortstop, batting eighth. And batting ninth and playing center field. Number four, Shane DeSanti. Shane DeSanti will be On in center mound, field, batting ninth. Number 22, Easton Hampton. And the number 22 the will be throwing the Casey baseball Kettle. today, Easton Hampton. Sophomore. Looks like we're going to do a national, national anthem, anthem here. here. Setting them down. And I'll leave you at this time. We please rise and remove your headwear as we honor America for the playing of the national anthem.
All right. Couldn't have sang that better myself. I'm just glad you didn't sing it. I think that makes a lot of people. Well, the only people watching us are the chain gang right now. Well, that's good. No pressure this way. It is the out, you know, the afternoon. People have things to do. A beautiful day like today, they're probably at the lake. Oh yeah, swimming. Good to see Aikens at third base. Everything's good to go with him after uh, having a, a weird experience in the first game. Had a hand cramp, Bill. Yeah, I ran into Ross at lunch, and he said that he just his hand just cramped up, and it was a combination of the cold. And But, yeah, it's good to see him back out there at third base. Well, I would presume that the young man probably didn't sleep great last night and probably did not drink a bunch because he was – I mean, he's a freshman. Yeah, and a little you, pump. you tell him, hey, you get to throw against the number one ranked team in the state tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> And it's going to be 30 degrees. Right. I mean. Another, uh, this I keep calling him a freshman, but Easton's a sophomore, and he's thrown some really good innings for the Cats this year as well. Yeah. Yeah. It was good to see Chase down there on the line. Uh, looked like he had the pitch clicker in his hand. So he is contributing older brother Chase Hampton, the senior, who was oh, out for a little bit here with a nose uh, injury. Yeah. Uh, looks like he's uh, going to keep track of little brother's pitches, make sure that uh, he stays within the regulations of Misha. Here we go. Out of the windup is Easton, left-handed hitting player for Blair Oaks. First pitch outside. This is Lackman. Is there a hitter? Lackman. 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 Mr. Lackman. <laughs> 1 0 pitch. Comes back in. So he's been inside, outside. Mixing it up. You just got to go up and down now. Yeah. 2 0 count. And the delivery. That's going to be inside. 3 0. Come back and get him here, Easton. Never a good thing to put that first runner on base. Well, the cardiac cats like to do things a little unconventionally. It's going to be going to get an auto call, I think, there on a 3 0. <laughs> that would look like the same place as pitch number two. We'll take it, though. Not much, argu not much argument out of the batter. I think that, uh, you know, these high school kids, I mean, and any hitter in general would rather hit than be walked anyway, so. Three balls, two strikes. Way to battle back here, Hampton. Get back in the count. Three and two. Batter steps in. Pretty good crowd out there, Bill. Yeah. When I stood up to for the national anthem, I looked down, and it was better than the four or five we had before. Strike there we go. three. Got him swinging at a high pitch. Nice job. That's going to be one out here in the top part of the, the first. Catcher, Not bad for uh, starting out 3-0. Oh. I mean, you got to knock the rust off. It's been a few days. Noah Laughlin will be batting now. He's the catcher for Blair Oaks. And here's the pitch. That one's right down the middle. Strike one. Right down the middle? It was right down the middle, wasn't it? Well, I don't know. It was. It was over the plate. Right down the middle. Oh, swing oh, and a miss. Oh, nice little off-speed pitch there. Makes it 0-2. Easton's looks, looks like he's rolling out there. And there we go. There it is, Bill. What's that? <laughs> you jinxed it. Now, watch this pitch. See? See, it was a ball. <sighs> but it was a beautiful place. <laughs> beautiful place. It was the same exact spot as pitch two that he swung at. So, good idea to go back to back there. One, two, count. Hunter takes the sign from the dugout, relays it to Easton. Easton shakes it off. I'm sure that was a shake initially. And then, you go. Runs that fastball in on the hands. Good job there to stay in the batter back up. Jackson Purse is a freshman. Yep, got that. They just, um, you know, the flag heard you, Bill. 
That whole ball. The flag heard you. I guess so. Now it's a little bit, a little bit of wind. You yeah. know, straight in. <laughs> Hopefully, it just doesn't knock the balls down like it did last game. Cats had a six-one win, but only four hits. Pulls that one a little bit, evens the uh, count two-two. One out here at the top of the first inning. The pitch. Swing, foul ball. He's lucky to get a hold of that one. He was out in front of it. Nice I'm, battle going on I'm here. Actually, I'm actually glad he fouled it off because if something else, I mean, like, I think the bat kind of blinded Zane a little bit there. And that would have been a tough uh, drop to third strike to get him thrown out on the way it kicked over all the way to the back stop. Oof. Oh. Three, two. That's right where you want that. That's where I'd put it. Yeah. I think somebody moved home plate on that. The rotating home plate. Three, two pitch. Ground ball here to shortstop. DeSanti up with it and bobbles it. E6 there. Third baseman, Warren Davis. Get yourself another one of those there, Mr. Hampton, and this ante will take care of you. Yeah, he had a good game last game. That just It's going to happen. Airs, strikeouts, like I said, all that stuff, it's part of the game. Davis up to bat with runner at first base. One out. How about a double play here? Ball high. Not Back those pick. Spin. Back safely is the runner. White versus white, yes. Oh, it is. Somebody didn't follow the rules. Stinking Blair Oaks. Fouled straight back. One one count, one out. So, do you think the young man swings that bat because it's his favorite bat, or does he swing that bat because it matches his uniform? That's a good question. Maybe we ought to invite him on the show. I would like to know. One one ones across the board. That ball driven is. into center field. DeSanti goes across. Oh. oh, off the end of his glove into the. <coughs> Off end of the left center field gap. Cats are going to be able to hold the runners at second and third, though. He recovered quickly. That ball just had a second gear on it. Kinda it did. Looked like DeSanti had a beat on it, and it just kept going. Puts runners at uh, second and third. With one out here. How about a line drive double play? Hard hit ball right at eight Aikens and let him just catch it and step on the bag. Good job there by Hunter, keeping the ball in front. Corners are in. Knew from a scouting report we got that this Blair Oaks team could swing it a little bit, so... No surprises that they've, you know, managed to find a couple base runners here. Ground ball here to DeSanti at short, and he kicks that one. All right, one nothing here, Blair Oaks, first and third. Easton doing a good job getting his ground balls. As a sophomore, you just got to kind of remind him to continue to throw his game. and. Yep, do what he's done. Yeah. He's pitching well. Strike one. I mean, really, they only gave up that double, but those were those were our three outs right there. Right, yeah. First play of the game. and It should be out of the inning at zeros, but that is how it rolls sometimes. In the dirt. Hunter's going to back pick. Ooh, Kent keeps that one in front of him, thank goodness. 
that throw makes me so nervous. I know he, yeah. Hunter, you know, like these kid, these guys can do it. Like, but that one is the one that always like. I just feel like it's so easy to, for it to wind up at the right field foul pole. Yeah, there's not, and there's nobody out there just going to keep going. One one count. Fouled, Fouled back. back. Strike good, two. Good swing there from the the Falcon. Well, the Cats gave up a run last game yeah. in the first inning, so you got to score at least one to win a game. Yep. One, two pitch. Double play still in effect here. Oof. Going to ring him up. He's going to ring him up on that one. We needed that. Zane May got him that call. Two outs here. Runner still at first and third. Brings up McCullough. Yeah, this umpire, where he sets up, I just live on that outside. <laughs> Absolutely. Because there's no way he can actually see it well. No. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Blair Oaks, they don't, they don't get cheated, do they? They nope. take some swings, They take boy. Some, some hacks. <laughs> Set and the pitch. Strike two. Nice pitch. 0-2 here, two outs. One run in for Blair Oaks. Easton working around a couple uh, early game errors here. Trying to trying to minimize the damage. Good job right there. I like that pitch. Yep. Bring it inside. See if he's going to he, and he did a good job because he got it far enough inside that even if he had put a barrel on it, it would have been foul. But it makes him think, hey, you know, they might they might throw me there. Oh boy. <laughs> two two count. I'm getting nervous there too. A little surprised they've not sent the runner from first. Well. And maybe they aren't. Two balls, two strikes. They they know that Zane's carrying a fifty cal, got him, uh, machine gun back there, and he can chuck him out. That'll do it for Blair Oaks in the top of the first inning. Cats trail one nothing going to the bottom of the first. We're gonna lead off with uh, Aikens, Lawrence, Rousey. Correct. That's correct. Man, Falcons score one run on one hit, two uh, cat errors. It's really hard to be as good as me and know all that, Bill. When are you going to wake up? Well, I don't know. kind of like this world I'm living in. <laughs> it's kind of lonely there, though, isn't it? Oh, I've got make-believe friends. The voices in my head. That that right there explains a whole <laughs> lot. <laughs> they tell me to do these things. <laughs> that explains a lot right there. I was talking about uh, Blair Oaks taking some hacks and not getting cheated. Um, I sent a TikTok to Blythe last night, I believe, and it was uh, this guy was on there, and he's like, "Are you having?" You know, as a baseball player, and it was you know the caption was, "Are you having trouble hitting the baseball?" And then it slid to the next uh, the next. You know, next picture was him swinging a bat. He said, me too, so swing hard in case you hit it. (laughs) (laughs) Uh. I thought it was funny. That is funny. Right-handed pitcher for Blair Oaks. Looks like he's got kind of a long, whippy arm, three-quarter type slot. Might be... Off the bottom of the first inning, the third baseman, Nate Aikens. Need to do what we did last game. Single, double. Homer. Yeah, I'd like that. <laughs> I mean, I'm getting a little greedy, but. First pitch. He gets a call. Like I said, if I was, I mean. That's where I'd hit it. You're right. I mean, that was a little bit outside. I mean, it was probably a high school strike, but there's no way that a par sees that. Out there again for strike two. Yeah, 
There goes the curveball further out. Oof. Catcher tried to bring that one back in, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. Well, the catcher, I think, cost that ball was actually a little bit closer to the plate than I think they wanted it, but he was set up so far out that the umpire wasn't going to give it to him even though it came back. Strike three there on the curveball. They went fastball, 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 and then brought the curveball. I really thought they'd go to the curveball on that 0-2 count, but what do I know? The designated hitter, Ross Morris. It's really a deceptive delivery from the Blair Oaks pitcher. Just the way that, that arm kind of hides back there and then – Looks like he does a good job hitting his spots, too. Strike one on the foul ball. Rousey quickly on that one. What? They didn't send Tao out for it. Oh, he would have bumbled it. 1 0 1 pitch. All right, Ross, buckle down and have a senior at bat right here. He's going to get a curveball. I think they'll go curve here. You think they'll go back fastball and try to – the way they're setting up, I feel like. Change up. The I think that was a, the way that tailed. I think that no, that was a change up. That was a nice change up. Yeah. Started on the outside corner of the plate and worked back off to the left-handed hitter. Curveball, swing and a miss. So with everything in today's world, you know, technology, uh, things like that, what's crazy is, and as much baseball as, as a lot of these kids play in the summertime and stuff, there's, you know, we're in the fourth game of the year, but there are scouting reports already out there. Yep. You know, people see, they, you know, they, t uh, it's wild to me how fast information travels, but uh, <laughs> certainly there are scouting reports out there about uh, hitters from both sides. Casey has his scouting report on Blair Oaks. Blair Oaks has theirs on us. So now it's just a who can. Execute the best. Cats go down in order. Back in my back in my day, the only reason we had scouting reports is because we played the same, you know, ten teams. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nowadays playing it's teams all over the state. Easton had a good first inning. I like to see him build off of that. Maybe get him a couple quick ground balls and get out of this one real in a hurry. Yeah, I'd like to have a nice one, two, three inning. Get up to bat again. Yeah, let the cats bats get uh, get to work again. Throw down from hunters on the money. Getting off the top of the second inning. Here. This guy looks like he could uh, chop some wood. Yeah, big boy. I already gave him two outs. Oh, I like your thinking. The Santee's over. No, there's no. I mean, it was going to be a base hit regardless, but uh, good effort there from the shortstop. Oh, whoops. I forgot to uh, change the innings. Uh oh, now if their pitcher throws a no hitter, their parents are going to be real upset at you. Popped up here. Looks like it's third baseman. Aikens calls for it. And whoo. Grabs at it. Catches it. Wind does funny things. And, you know, we talked about, like, how the ball was – looked like it hung up in that first game, you know. I really do feel like with the taller uh, uh, 
booth that we're in, and then with the concession stand and stuff, and the way that the wind comes off of this hillside now, it does create some different swirl it out does. there. Ground ball here. Aiken stabs at it. Great play, Cats. Um, I don't know what that sign is. I've never seen that before, but, uh, man, that's a great play all the way around. Just throw didn't get there quite in time, but uh, good job there from Kent trying to trying to get uh, the stretch on that. Makes two outs here. I like two outs better than one out. Runner still at first base on the base hit. Checking on him. Back safely. Hampton wears the high socks. Were you a high sock guy, Bill, or were you a I don't fly know they ball made center them. field? That's a short inning. There for we cats. go. That's what the, that's what we needed. No, I wore long pants. Long pants, huh? I wore long pants, you? but we we pulled them up. I had high socks. I don't know why, because I was never you know six five, so I didn't look ultra tall. But I do know why, because Chipper Jones wore high socks. Look at that. You'd never know I made a mistake. Erased it. It's pretty nice when you can erase your mistakes. Well, in life, Bill, you can do that. Just You can't look back. You can't look in the rearview mirror. Just can't? You can't look in the rearview mirror. Erase those mistakes by always moving forward and learning. That's your life lesson from Chain Gang Sports. We better start swinging at this guy. He's got some good off-speed stuff. You got. You better swing at the pitches that are good. I feel like we're going to whip it this inning. We're going to whip it good. Whip it all right. Mm -hmm. Going to be Hill Hunter. And who is third this inning? Hill, Hunter, and... We are Hill, Hunter, and Trent. Trent. Leading off the bottom of the second inning, the second baseman, Carter Hill. The pitch... Right down Broadway. Off speed, though. Down and in. Ball one. Evens the count up. I say we get a run or two or three here. Change up. That's a pretty good change up. He's got a good change up. He did slow down his delivery a little bit on that one, but I don't think that I mean it's early in I think a high school He went back to it there to get strike three. I don't know that high school kids really catch up on that, but college. not well, especially not this early in the, you know what I mean? Like Maybe the second time through the lineup, you pick it up a little bit, but Hunter's going to dig in. He was on base a couple times this morning, a couple times last night. So, like to see him keep on, keep on, keeping on. We need somebody hitting the baseball right now. We're just swinging it air, and it's winning. Sadly, it is. Blown away. Ball two. Maybe this guy will get a touch of the wild. Well, I think there could be some of that in there with that delivery. Yeah, coming across his body like that. Yeah, yeah, that slingshot style delivery. 
You're going to get the call there. Do one count here with one out. Bottom of the second. Foul off 2-2. Two, two. Oh, no, we hit another cow. Mm. Poor Bessie. Better call a vet. The pitch. Curveball way outside. Hunter says, not today. Three, two, one out here. Cats can use a base runner. See what happens after that. Strike three. Did he go 3-2 change up there? I think he did. I think he did. Right fielder, Keegan Trent. Let's go, Tegan. About time Tegan gets out here. Ball inside. Almost got one in the mailing. I. 2 0. Two outs for the Cats. Tegan trying to extend the inning here. Swing and a miss. Tegan's speed. I know he has a lot of power, but where that look at where the third baseman's playing. Mm hmm. He hit that one too too hard to the third baseman. He 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 tried to do what I was saying. Well, the cats go one, two, three again. Hunter's getting suited up down there. He gets that gear on pretty quick. Like he's done it once or twice. See, you could sing this song. Angel's feet. Still, he said, John, go do my will. Midnight rider, the rainbow, the rainbow rider, back by the. What you got going on there? I don't know. What is that? Just ignore me. I'm actually, but I want to know what the code is. Well, it's no code, but I forgot that they, Schneider was uh, not hidden. So. Huh. Gotcha. It should be Lackman. I thought you had some sort of advanced matrix there. <laughs> no. The catcher, Nolan Bottlett. All right. Here we go, Easton. Good baseball name, Easton. You know. Outside. Zane tried to hold it over there. The pitch driven to center field. DeSanti is back, back, and got it. Well shy of the warning track. 
he plays a pretty shallow center field, so it's not too hard to say DeSanti back and back. <laughs> That's right. He moves on. He breaks on the ball really well, you know, right at him and, and back, so. That boy, Bill. Oh, one count here, one out. Almost looks like he's trying to throw a knuckleball there, doesn't it? Yeah, it looked like a knuckleball. I noticed that his pitch before that, that, that got over the plate there, it was quite a bit slower, and it, almost, it looked like he had a knuckleball-type grip on it. But Had him out in front of that. Hunter's going to have a play on it. Gets behind it and squeezes it for out number two. Tough play there. That oh. was a tough play. Nice play. Two quick outs here. Let's keep it rolling, Hampton. The pitch. A little outside, 2-0. Oh. Foul ball off of uh, Hunter's mask. I will say in the brief amount of uh, baseball that I've I've been able to watch. Um, you know, I, was, I, I did get by here for a while on Monday, but then wasn't here Tuesday, and then last night, but I was here this morning. Anyway, the pitcher for Blair Oaks is probably the best one I've seen. Like, I've nope, seen. I, I don't know if it may be the best pitcher the Cats have seen all year. You would know more than me on that. but uh, That's the best one we've seen all year. Three one here, two outs. Let's go, Hampton. Get back in the count right here. Stay simple. Good pitch. What? Guess that was. Not sure where that was. I can't even speculate. Nice pitch to me. I can't even speculate as to where that may have been. <laughs> Holy moly! I mean, I don't know how much better you can throw than that. Zane didn't move his glove. They've been getting those calls. Not to be a homer, but they have. Well, we have until that point. You know, I mean, right. there, was, there was a couple in that at bat that were what had been called. I'm now. I'm not going to say they were actually strikes, but they had been. You know, the umpire had already determined that that was part of the strike zone. So, well, that last pitch looked over the plate to me. It was definitely corner. The only thing I can guess is maybe maybe a touch low, I guess. Yeah, it's hard to see if they're low, so maybe that's it. Zane, oh! He almost had him. Kent was just a couple steps in front of the bag. If Kent was, uh, was at the bag, he was definitely out. 1-0 delivery. Oh. Hi. I think it's 3 0. Is that 3 0? I believe so. Yep. Got it. <laughs> Paul's that one. I wasn't sure what he's going to do. I, will, I, don't, I don't know. It's a guessing game. Three and one count, two outs here, runner at first base. For Blair Oaks. And the pitch. And the dirt. Pass Zane into the 
hard big round there from the runner, but he does not tempt fate and try to get to third. All right, two on, two outs. We need a play here. Yeah. We were doing so well through two outs. Yeah, Hampton's just got a little bit sporadic with his delivery, I've noticed. I don't know if it's because he's trying to be fine with the cur with the off-speed stuff, but it just his delivery looks a little bit – his release point's just a little bit off. Nope, he's throwing it out, kind of yanking it outside a little bit. Got him all calmed down now. So let's go get the third out and go hit the baseball. I like your thinking. 75 and sunny, Bill. I'm going to have that put on a shirt. Back picks him, and that runner is long. Oh, we got him. Good play there from Hunter. Heads up from the senior catcher. Gets his pitcher out of the inning. That was a dart down to second base. Nice job, Zane. Always nice to get those kind of outs. <laughs> that poor pitches. kid, you know he feels awful right now. Oh, he didn't even want to run the dugout. Well, yeah, because I mean he almost fell going back to second. That's why that's what held him up so he didn't like get back and then turn to try to get to third and just bit it. <laughs> I've been there, man. <laughs> oh, there's nothing and there's nothing you can do about you're it. You're alone. You're on an island. You know, there's just absolutely I'll tell you what I'd like to see the cats do this inning. What's that? Let's just see how well this guy moves off the mound. Let's put some let's put some uh, some pressure on him with some you know some drag bunts and just see what happens here in the bottom of the order. You know, see if he can't just cause some disruption. I don't dislike it. A because I'd like to see if he uh, can consistently repeat out of the windup. That long arm action might be hard to get that arm through. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Some guys don't pitch very well out of the stretch. We got to do something. We're just not even putting the bat on the ball. This inning is going to be seven, eight, and nine for the Cats. Braden Kent to Santi to Santi. Off the bottom of the third inning, the first baseman, Braden Kent. Kent, I don't know if bunting is the best idea with him. No, I don't think he'll be bunting. Young man of his stature, I probably let him try to run into one here. Oh, well, oh we're gonna tr oh, pulls it out. Casey must have been he, – he must be listening. He's got an air pod in. He's listening to us coach up here. Again, that tells me something. Can't squares around a bunt. Pitch outside. You know, some pitchers struggle even – say kids squared around. Butcher boy. Ball three. Maybe we threw him off. Well, we'll see. Rio, let her rip, Kent. No, they had to take on. <laughs> He's up over the plate, isn't he? Can you imagine if he had swung there, how, how excited Casey would have gotten? <laughs> <laughs> In the wrong way. <laughs> well, we're just going to say passionate. He would have been very passionate. <laughs> well, there's a first base runner for the Cats. Maybe that's a good thing. Ethan DeSanti up now. Runner on first with less than Ethan one, you know, less DeSanti. than two. I mean, we well, got to score him here. He's uh, he's all got some speed too. I wouldn't be surprised to see DeSanti bunt. Well, I would I would assume that that uh, you know would be a, a possibility. There it is. That's that is a good a one great too. Bunt too. That is picked up and no play at first base. Oh, oh. almost gets into left, <laughs> right field, but their second baseman was there. That, that was, was a great a, bunt. That was a bunt for a base hit right there. It sure was. Give the cats a hit. Kill the no hitter. Let's do it. Center fielder. No, you gave Kane. them a hit. <laughs> I was trying to celebrate. I'll go change that to two here in a minute. I I'm bunting here too. Oh, foul out of play.
Third baseman staying home. First baseman's cracking. I tell you what, as as far in as that first baseman is, square, and if he continues to crash, push it right past him. That's easier said than done, but uh, that would be my. Got him at third. So we're still at first and second, one out now for Nate Aikens. The bunt just didn't get out there. No, the catcher did a good job of pouncing out on that one. I think he's got the bunt. Pretty good hitter up. First baseman backing up here. We got to do something here, boys. It's getting a uh, quick lesson in the uh, art of varsity off speed. Ball one, one one count. Got to go up there. To, I mean, this kid's someone breaking stuff at any. I oh yeah, they, he, that's just it. I mean, he's done a fantastic job of just putting you know off speed stuff in at odd counts and. Oh well, thank you. Swing and a miss there. Thanks for being the bringer of bad news. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> See if we invite him to a game again. If it's not on the scoreboard, it's not true. <laughs> in the dirt, or in the turf. Base pads are loaded with DeSantis. First and second. 2-2 two, two count. Outside, in the dirt, ball, ball three. three. Full count here, one out. First time we've really seen pitcher struggle a little bit. I t but I'm telling you, you him, put him out of the wall. I mean, like, I should get paid. I guess so <laughs> glad I called the bunt situation. Yeah. This inning. And you stole my idea. Three balls, two strikes, runners at first and second. Cats have a good scoring opportunity here. Going to be in play. They're not going to have. Whoa. What, what are, are we, we doing? Whoa, slide. That's what Casey's asking him as well. He would have been safe. I would have. The designated hitter, Ross Lawrence. Oh, my gosh. That's ridiculous. Uh, and he was slowing down. Yeah, I just don't think he, he saw where the ball went. Well, I don't care. Is there ever a time to jog on the base pass? Negative. Lawrence going to take ball in. Two outs now. Runners at first and second. Come on, Ross. Be a hitter here. None of that whiffing. Keep your head still, Ross. O one or one o change. Like I said, this young man has a lot of confidence in his off speed, and he is. I mean, I see why. Yeah, I throw that a lot. Cats though putting some pressure on him, making him throw some pitches here. That again, not really a strike, but yeah. But you got to go after that pitch and just take it the other way. True. Because now he's going to get a changeup. I'd rather hit that pitch than a changeup. Uh, yeah. It's just it's just horrible hitting. Popped up. Going to be in foul territory. If nobody gets to it, he's going to get another chance. He does. Trying to go that way. He was there. I think he's just trying to hit the baseball.
Charge. See? Come on, do something here. One, two, two outs. Runners first and second. The pitch fouled off. One, two count here. Runners at first and second again. Rousey waits patiently on deck. I'd like to see Rousey come up this inning. And we're going to see Rousey come up this inning. Cause there we go. A double into the right, uh, right field corner. And we're going to score one. Throws coming in. Bobbled by the first baseman. We're going to score two. Two RBI double for Ross Lawrence. Well, he can sleep inside tonight. It was going to be cold out. Glad he listened to me and kept his head still. <laughs> I'm glad you said that because I'm going to tell him. Jackson, Rousey. I hadn't noticed that. Thanks. Yeah, it's popping out. <laughs> Just a little heavy on that front foot. All right, Rousey digs in. Ross at second. I'd like to, like to, you know, you know what I think. What I hate doing, Bill. That's going to get us to third. I hate paying for insurance, but you know what I love? Insurance runs. Insurance runs. And we could use a few more. I like the counts with the 2-1 lead. That phrase is copyrighted by Chase Blake, Inc. I need to see the copyright on that. Any use, and I don't, I don't know what the rest of that disclaimer should be. <laughs> That's good enough. It's kind of like reading somebody their rights. You just kind of mumble the rest of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then they get off in court. <laughs> did you say, did you literally say, you have the right to remain silent? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I did. Well, it's not, that's not right. 2-0 counter, Rousey. I guess 21 Jump Street where he can't remember the Miranda rights. <laughs> Brian and I were just talking about this earlier. The new Roadhouse movie's out for rent right now. It's out for rent already? Yeah. Man, I'm on Prime or? I think Prime. I'm going to have to. That's, that might that's going to drop. into the bat. That's going to get down into right field for an RBI single for Rousey. There we go. It's good to, see, good to see, see him. Yeah, get it. Yeah, you can see the, there was a little relief there in that uh, getting to first base. Second baseman, Carter Hill. Cats now with a uh, 3-1 lead. I'm telling you, man, it starts with the bunts, putting him in the one, or putting him in the stretch. You're going to take credit for this all day, aren't you? Oh, I'm 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 actually, I mean, I'm going to call Casey later and be like, "You know, I'm glad you were had your earbud in because, you know, I called that and you listened." <laughs> I should get my uh jersey retired on the wall up here. So they added a couple jerseys. Yes. That's kind of cool they do that. Yeah. For these kids, it's got to be kind of cool to be having an assistant coach that uh, has his jersey hanging on the wall. Fitzpatrick to the Rockies. Which I guess I didn't even realize. I didn't know he was drafted. He's going to go up and play. I ran into him the other day, some independent league. He's yeah. trying out like in March, I think, later this month. I think he signed a non-drafted free agent contract with the Rockies potentially. Oh, originally. okay. But uh, either way, he had he's a professional ball player. Kind of like we're professional announcers. I have not signed my chain gang contract yet. You're holding out for more money. I am, uh, you know the the um, the union has said that uh, it's not in my favor to do so. So We were asked a minute ago, are we hitting or are they? I'm not sure how long ago that was, but I will tell you this. Right now, they were hitting. 
It's the top of the fourth the inning. Cats lead at 3-1. Cats have three runs on three hits and two errors. Falcons of Blair Oaks have one run on two hits and no errors. They will have numbers six, seven, eight, and nine up. Popped up here, center field, I think, to Santee calls for it. There we go. One pitch, one out. The designated hitter, Harrison Beer. Lear singled on a ground ball, a shortstop last at bat. First pitch is called strike. Well, I'd like him not to do that this time. I wouldn't mind. I would like him not to single. He can hit it to the shortstop, just needs to hit it at him. Yeah, yeah no singles. No singles, no singles, no singles, no singles. It's like no whammies, no whammies, no whammies, no whammies. <laughs> Or if number 25 plays football. It looks like he could probably come around an end and smack a, a a tailback. He would be the reason I would retire from football. Tegan Line drive, that. right field. Tegan Trent keeps it in front, holds him to a single. I think Tegan did a nice job on that. Yeah, there wasn't. I mean, if he had sold out completely and missed it, that guy was going to be running a while. I think he played that ball exactly how he should have. Oh, I agree. Cats have uh, one out here. On the upside, now this guy coming out of the left-handed batter's box is going to close that gap pretty quick, but you probably have a pretty good uh, double play opportunity on your hands. That was a hit and run. Yeah, it was. Their coach must be thinking the same thing, like we got to get him – you know, off of first base. Yep. <laughs> he's got good hands. He's a good hitter. Yeah. Hit the ball hard both times he's been up. One strike to the hitter. One out here. One ball, one strike, one out. Not You're sure what top that, of the fourth. What that grip is, he's searching for in there. But yeah, I don't know what that pitch is. It does. It does change. I mean, like it, his point, it just changes enough. Good pitch there. No. All strike on the inside corner. Couldn't one, do anything with that, even if he swung. No, one two count. Cats okay. leading three one. Blair Oaks ranked tenth in the state. How big would it be for these young cats to get uh, two big wins over ranked up? Ooh, my. Oh, my. Says it's low. Says it's low. It'd be a big deal if the cats could could pull away with, uh, with a couple ranked wins this weekend just for this young group's confidence level. Three, two here. This is the youngest youngest group of cats I think I've seen Casey put on the field since. No, I think you're right. I mean, how common is it to have a freshman starting? Not. Not. Foul ball. We've always been heavy laden with seniors, it seems like, but you're right. I mean – it's nice to have a good mix. Yeah. 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 And not just, you know, Aikens, but there's three or four other freshmen uh-huh. I know that are you know, have produced or been been put in situations this week that have been nerve wracking, but uh they've uh they've proven their uh their metal. Done well. Sophomore on the bump right now, freshman this morning, uh uh, it's, it's 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 exciting. It is, you know, because the, you know the program's just headed. I mean, shoot, they had eighteen freshmen come out for uh, eighteen freshmen come out. As long as he catches that, strike him out, out, throw him out, right there. Well, we didn't even need that second out. No, there's only one out. Well, well I thought there was two. No, there no. Oh, well, there we go. That'll do it. You're right. You're right, Bill. I wasn't paying attention.
there we go. Nice inning for the Cats. Got a runner on, but we were able to throw him out at second base. So, uh, really, three up, three down. Yeah. Well, yeah, no, uh, 18 freshmen coming, you know, that came out yep. this year. Um, so, that's exciting. Numbers are good, uh, especially being there's only four juniors. Um, so, that class was a little bit light. The freshmen kind of helped make up, you know, the amount of freshmen helped make up for that a little bit. And then uh, – Next year, I know that that's another big freshman class coming in. Um, the RBI program is, is doing great to continually funnel players up through. Sure. And, uh, exciting things happening here at Logan Rogersville. Well, and Casey does it right. A lot of coaches around here don't like when these kids go and play with, you know, travel teams that aren't RBI, but he, he doesn't discourage it. And uh, I think he's had better ball teams because of it. Yeah. Cats are going to have uh, five, six, and seven up, who will be Hunter, Trent, and Kent. Speaking of freshmen that uh, are expected to contribute, there's a freshman warming his arm up down there, throwing some, uh, some heavy balls, and last name of Purse. I think mom and dad are both tuning in. Mom, I know I saw her comment uh, earlier that yeah. she's out of town with the with the little sister while she competes in a in an event. So either he's getting loose to potentially come in the game, or he just likes throwing, you know, heavy shot puts. <laughs> I think that was a game plan. I think we were going to start Easton and Purse, and then if needed, we're going to. Finish with Ross again. It's going to be a Hunter ball back to the pitcher. Off the end of the bat. Pitcher moves back. Gets the out. One Brent out Tegan. here in the bottom of the fourth. Tegan. Trent. Brings up Tegan Trent. Tegan grounded out his first at bat to the third baseman, if I remember right. Seems as if that was the case. Low and away. How many pitches did we make that young man throw last inning? It was, I mean, as far as workload goes up to that point, it was it was good. A little high, 2-0. He is at. I know he's probably nowhere near, you know, the top of his pitch count. But he's at 51 after three, so 17 or so in it. That's going to be a low. Oh. <laughs> It's a, it's a floating strike zone, fellas. It's been everywhere. He does not like the low pitch, we've learned. That should be a strike. Do you have that song, I've Been Everywhere? <laughs> <laughs> Three balls. You think he'd take offense? That ball's hit hard. And there we go. Hole. Tegan Trent with a lead. Or there with we a go, one Tegan. Out single. That's a way to get that back going, young man. Hit for Tegan Trent. He'll be at first base. The first baseman, Braden Kent. Brings up Braden Kent. Braden walked his first at bat. I'm probably having him, you know, play that little square round game. Why not? Yeah, he's the one that started us off. Yeah. Actually, I'm probably letting him swing it right here with Tegan's speed. Ooh, boy. Tegan tried to take care of his own speed there. Almost got caught in no man's land like the uh, – Falcon runner in the second inning. <clears throat> Swing and a miss. That was a change up on an, a 1 0 count. <laughs> you can see Braden saw it. Like he tried to hold that swing back a little bit. So it's good that he recognized it. Strike two. That one was a little bit sharper. Yeah. One two count here with one out. Gonna set up way outside. You're gonna get it. wow. They oh, call it a strike. Did. Yeah, well it was. I was trying to figure out what happened there. I I was hopeful that he missed it because of everything else happening, but uh it doesn't look like he did. <laughs> 
Two outs here. Tegan ends up stealing second base. Brings up Ethan DeSanti. Blair Oaks was trying for their own strike him out, throw him out right there. DeSanti bunted, last at bat for a single. I'm doing it again. Ball one. You know what? I'm I'm doing it again. Button again? Yeah. yeah. I mean, use it. Create some craziness on the base pass. I don't dislike that. Third I mean, baseman's back behind the bag. So that's, first what baseman. that's what I'm saying. I mean, it's not – I mean, at yeah. least, you know, on the first strike maybe, or that may be good enough. That may be the same. Oh, as, that took a oh, funny – Oh, boy, Tegan. Woo. That's a funny way to get a single right there. That was as good as what I was suggesting to do. Center fielder, Shane Desanti. Shane Bunted, fielder's choice is last at bat. We well, think you do it here again. I know there's two outs, guys. He's I get that. He's yeah, he's but uh, I know that uh, Casey has a lot of faith in this young man's ability to bunt. He did not bunt. He swung away and uh, hit a ball well to the shortstop. For the fielder's choice to second base for out number three. So, that takes us to the fifth inning. Cats put a little more pressure on them, though. I mean, that's continually do that, and good things happen. Cats now have five hits. Mather's going in to pitch. Oh, no, he's just walking past them. That's Keaton. Oh, Keaton, I'm sorry. Well, he can't field the ground ball, so he might as well try it. Easton Hampton's going to be back out think, on the mound for the Cats. You think he ever goes back and listens to this, and he'll be like, why are they trashing me so much for one missed ball at first base? Because he's a coach. He should know better. <laughs> Hampton's been efficient this game as well. He's 14, 15 pitches an inning. Coach Tao really pours a lot into these kids, as, as do all of these coaches, but uh, I enjoy – Giving Coach Tao a hard time. Oh, you have to give him a hard time. He gives it back pretty well, so that's that's why it's fun. Blair Oaks is going to have 9, 1, and 2 up. That equals 12. So they're going to have 12 batters this inning? No, no. That's what, 12, you're, that's 12 what pitches. you're saying. That's what it's going to take to get out of the innings, 12 pitches. That's what I'm saying. First batter, Burr, grounded into a fielder's choice. His first at bat. Leading off the top of the fifth inning, the second baseman, Brock Burr. I wouldn't be surprised to see their coach put uh, with a dying hole here. I uh, He might try to put a little pressure on the Cats defense real quick here. Nine hole functions as a second lead off. Really turns that lineup over if you can get a guy on the bag, but no, no. Pop up here, first pitch. Carter Hill back and squeezes it for out number one. First baseman, Hayden Blackman. Well, I hope it don't take 12 pitches now. He's one one, one pitch, one out. Let's just go ahead and get it in three. Let's, Let's try be that. done. Yeah. Three pitches sounds better than 12 anyway. Blackman has uh, struck out and flew out to center field. That's going to be through. The right side there. Ball just kind of set there for him. Uh, that was one of those as a pitcher, and I was a pitcher, so I can I can say that. You let it go, and you go, boy, that one's just going to yeah. it's gonna spin right there. <laughs> just, just, just hoping he does something, doesn't swing or does something bad with it. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't take a daddy swing at that. This young man has flied out to center and uh, got reached – on an error. Good nice pick there by, by Zane. Ball one. Top of the fifth here. Top Cats of the enjoy. fifth, do ye? That's enjoyed. That was my Irish Canadian accent. <laughs> Ball two. That's a real thing, you know. Whatever you say. I just made my gum in the trash like a all-stater. Maybe I could give Chase Branham a run for his money. 
He's, he was going to be all world too, I think. Ball, Ball three. Three O count here. Looks like Easton's trying to place it, not pitch it right yeah, now. Yeah, you know, I really, I really, uh, you know, I, I worked on Scott for three years. Scott Metz tried to get him to come out and just, just PO. Yeah. Uh, six, seven, six, eight. He could get a lot of down, but uh, could never convince him to do it. But maybe I'll get him to play me in one on one. <laughs> Good luck. Well, I asked Scott about that one time, and he said he just kind of uh, was tired of baseball. So he yeah. traveled his brother with his, all around with his brother. Just wasn't fun anymore. Three balls here. He had a heck of a senior basketball season, though. No, he did. He's going to put runners at first and second base. See what the coach. He seems like he slowed down a little bit, too. Yeah. We are going to have a mound visit here. That is Ethan Mather, so we better get the old Black Betty going. Ram a lamb. Yeah, I, I, it took me a minute to find it earlier. I'm going to have to move that stuff over. Oh, no, it just takes time. <laughs> Well, we tried hard. <laughs> and I just throw something on there. <laughs> Anything. Going to leave Ethan in. Got runners at uh, first and second. Bring up uh, Davis. Davis has doubled and popped out in foul territory. We don't need the double here. I'd take the pop out in foul territory, though. <laughs> Ball one. Does get time granted before the pitch. Didn't like how long Mr. Hampton was taking to deliver it. I like the uh, long pause there from Easton, though. Kind of throws off everybody's timing, the runners and the hitter. One of those chess you know, chess pieces in, within the game of baseball. Swing and a miss. That was a hack. That was a hack. I think the flag actually reversed wind for a second when that, when that got out there. Well, I, saw, I felt the breeze over here. One ball, one strike, one out. It really is like I mean, is wonderful in this <laughs> scores box. Oh, foul ball! And we spent some frigid, frigid oh. days in that old one. Well, even last year when because we didn't have the, the window, glass, yeah. the window, well, windy days. I, last year, I, I think. Well, it may have been, I think it's by senior year, but I, bu I went and bought that buddy heater and we had right. it underneath the counter there, yep. you know, and trying to keep ourselves from frostbite. Oh, Good that's a pitch. strike. A nice job. Way to come back, Easton. Two outs now. Runners at first and second. That was a big pitch right there. Yeah. You know, if you can get Easton through five, that'd be big. I mean, he's, he's, He's stacking up some innings here early in the season. If he can get through five here, that's that's big time right there. Some man's grounded out and walked. Ball outside. Next week, the Cats just have – do they just have two games or do they play we, next weekend? No, I think uh, that's it. Well, no, I th no, we play next weekend. Do you? I think. I'll have to look at the schedule. Hillcrest Monday, Tuesday. No, next Saturday. weekend's Easter. You won't play. Next oh, that's weekend. right. Back pick. Safe. Called strike. Runners at first and second. Oh, 
Called strike. One one count here. Be nice to get out of this one without any runs scored. Be a big, big, big win. There's the pitch. Ball Stays hunt. in. You can tell he's he's getting a little tired there. Yeah, he's laboring a little bit. Gets this last out. I bet you we get a – he's pitched well the game. His yeah. arm will get stronger as the season goes on too. Well, and yeah, I think Tuesday he came in and really stabilized, sure. you know, that game after, uh, you know, Chase – Got him. Oh. His, his foot was in the air. I was wondering if the umpire would see it, but he did. He got it. Zane's throwing him out, isn't he? Zane's having a good day behind the dish. Pitcher's best friend when a catcher can throw that like that, you know. I mean, I would say that'll probably wrap up the day. I mean, I'm, I'm not – Saying it will, but I'm saying it sh it probably will. I would think. But uh, you know, back to my my thought there, you know, I mean, uh, Tuesday, you know, Chase goes down in the first inning with what you know, one out maybe something like that. Second batter, Easton came in and what he throw three or four for, mm -hmm. you know, so he's he's had a long inning or a long week. Yeah, nine innings the first week of play. That's not too shabby. They're going to stick with Schneider. Stick with Schneider. That seems, that sounds, Schneider. Sounds like a, uh, a uh, you know, a voting billboard slogan. Stick with Schneider. We're going to be here in the bottom of the fifth inning. The Cats are going to have one, two, three up. It's, a, it's, a, it's either a political billboard or a funeral home <laughs> slogan. <laughs> uh. Stick with Schneider. For all your loved one's needs. I wonder if this young man's their ace. I don't know. You think they would have saved the uh, the ace for us and not thrown it against Catholic? Yeah, I don't know. I guess it depends. Yeah. I mean, if they saw the same thing we did, Catholic wasn't ranked. Or I didn't see that, though. I always forget they're five. But, they're five, a, yeah. But I don't think they were. No, they're not. But they are five, eight, so maybe they did. That's a tough – That's a. I mean, like, that's why I think private schools should have their own playoffs yep. and their own, you know, time because it's tough for – Catholic will have a very successful year, no doubt. But it's really tough to ask a, a school of 250 kids to compete with schools of, you know, a 1,000. Right. Even if they're private. And usually what my, my argument is they should they should have – he's shaking his arm a little bit there. Uh, you know, they should have their own playoffs because I don't think schools that should recruit should be able to compete in the state championships against schools who can't. Nope, my theory exactly. That's going to be a foul ball. We were talking about that earlier. And, you know, for basketball this year, of course, we beat Father John Tolton, but there's a private school. And then we had to play John Burroughs, who we ended up losing to, and their private school. Yeah. And then Vashon might as well be a private school. Well, that's like, you know, when uh, volleyball went to the Final Four, uh, we were the only public school in, that was four, in, that's in, right. in 4 through 6A. Only public school. That's crazy. Ball Speak, inside. Speaking of volleyball, uh, saw uh, Coach Hutch is moving on to Willard next year. Is that where she's going? Mm -hmm. Yep, that Willard announced it yesterday. Have they decided? Uh, I don't know. No, I don't think there's been a decision made on the Rogersville side of, of that. Um, the designated hitter, number one, Ross Lawrence. This Chesney is uh, you know, graduating, so. She's made her her college dis collegiate decision. So, pick back, safe. Aikens at first base on the wall. Lawrence with an RBI double his last at bat. I would just take a RBI, you know, triple at this one. 
That way he can get the double and the triple out of the way, and all that's left is a single and the home run. Ball one. Yeah, if he's going to hit for the cycle, he, he needs to get going. Yeah, he's going to have to get – he's only got two, you know, two and a half innings to do it. And he only needs a home run, a single, and a triple. It's not hard. I think the uh, Blair Oaks pitcher is getting a little tired as well. Yeah. No one down here warming up. Well, I saw him. He delivered a pitch a bit earlier. And when he delivered that pitch, he started kind of shaking his, you know, shaking his elbow a little bit. So you can tell he's a little tender. I don't think he's hurt by any means. but I, And I think, I mean, shoot, this is probably their fourth or fifth game this week. So you got to think there's some miles on these arms early in the season here. Mm-hmm. 2 0 count to Lawrence now. There is some stirring in the uh, bullpen area, but nobody throwing yet. Cats have uh, both. It's going to be a ball low. Get the runner to second base on the. Oh, well, we can get we can have an RBI single now. He could get that out of the way. I'd say Easton's done. He's down there running his sprints, I believe. Well deserved, young man. Cats are uh, they're. Double barreling it in the bullpen. They got uh, Purse and I can't see. It's another righty. Maybe Eli, for potentially down there. Craft. I can't. That pole's right in the way. Three one count. Mannerisms lead me to believe it is. Probably Eli. Heads up. Watch out. Is it really 3 2? It's really 3 2. Man, I've just been rambling on and on and not paying attention. Coach gave him a uh, swing sign at 3 0. Outside. Ball four. That three zero swing scared him so much he didn't want any part of it. So I'm just Let's runners out here. first and second, bringing up Rousey. Now Blair Oaks is uh, Jackson Rousey. Got a righty warming up. Coach is going to come out and kind of stall. This is the old stall tactic. <laughs> He's going to say, you know, Schneider, I know the slogan says stick with Schneider. Well, I'm about tired of it. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to come up with a new political campaign. <laughs> Your time is done. <laughs> <laughs> I think I will. They're going to stick with him. Well, they have to. That kid just started throwing down there. <laughs> I'm not sure why you don't have somebody warming up. Brings up Jackson Rousey. Runners at first and second. Rousey got a hit last at bat. Big cut. Strike two. CO2 pitch to uh, Rousey. It's going to be a little bit outside. Ball one, one and two. Cats again have three runs on five hits, two errors. Falcons have one run on four hits and no errors. Cats uh, threatening here in the bottom of the fifth. Runners at first and second. Good speed on the base pass. No outs. Here's the pitch. It's going to be a bouncer. That's going to be a little bit of trouble. It's going to be a lot of bit of trouble. Oh, they got him. Nice play by the uh, – I don't think they uh, – yeah. They called Rousey out at first base, but I'm not sure. Second baseman, Carter Hill. 
advances the runners to uh, second and third. Brings up Carter Hill. Carter's 0 for 2 on the day. That's going to be a base hit through the right side. That's going to score two runs. Nah, send him over. Nice hit by Hill. Single into right field will score Aikens from third. Sends Ross Lawrence to now batting the catcher, Zane Hunter. Ross Lawrence now at third. Hill at first brings up Zane Hunter. Pickoff attempt at first base. Here's the pitch. Ball low. 1-0 count. One out here. Cats now have a 4-1 lead on six hits. Comes a 1-0 pitch. Oh, he dropped the ball. Stolen base. Did he call that a strike or a? Nope. Two and oh ball. Oh. Yeah, unless you're going to put the double steal on there. I just don't. You're right. It was. He was out if he caught the ball. That ball's going to stay outside. Two oh count to Hunter. Or three oh, I guess. Three zero pitch going to be a called strike on the inside corner. Make it three one. Cats can only have one out here, and they have runners at second and third base. Base hit. They score two. That's going to be a foul ball down the third base line for a strike two. Three balls, two strikes, one out. Here in the bottom of the fifth, Cats already have put one run across the plate. That's going to be a ball outside. That's going to load the bases. It's going to bring up uh, Tegan Trent. Right fielder, Tegan Trent. Tegan had a uh, base hit in the left field, lasted bat. Let's get another one of those. Bases loaded. Blair Oaks is going to have their defense back. Nice swing at the ball. Oops. Foul ball. A one count. One out here. Ball high. One one count. One out. Welcome back. Ball low. Lawrence is going to come home. Things starting to unravel a little bit here for Blair Oaks. Maybe I should step away more often. You should. I heard Jackson hit a ball hard. What happened there? Well, actually, he didn't hit it hard. Oh, he didn't? I thought I heard the barrel ping pretty loud. So Bounced it over the pitcher's head, and I thought he was safe. That's, trying to shoot through that five hole. That's going to be a base hit. Runner's going to advance to third there. RBI. T. 
He can hit that ball pretty hard. Yes, he did. We're going to have a pitching change here for Blair Oaks. They're not sticking with Schneider no anymore. Cass have opened up a 6-1 uh, lead. It all started with the bunts. Yeah, you, you've, called, <laughs> you've called a nice game. I, you know, I have to give you credit for it. Number nine, Oops. 19 coming into pitch. That's a big dude. As he falls on the mound. And it always looks like, I mean, it's wild. Schulte? Schulte. S-C-H-U-L-T-E. -E. Yeah. That'd be Schulte, yeah. Or, sh yeah. Or Schult. I like the T, though. I think we can go Schulte. A wonderful job. You heard it here first, guys. Number 19, Caden Schulte, and the pitch for Blair Oaks. Braden Kent will be the hitter for the Cats. First and third. How long does Tegan stay at first base before he winds up or he heads to second? One pitch. How did how did Zane get on? Zane walked. Walked. Perfect. Everyone at home saw that. I was taking care of a business call. Yeah, you got good speed at good speed on first the and base. third. So I think you go ahead and send Tegan. Yeah, almost. I mean, there's a lot of options here. You could. Play the delayed steal and see if the, the throw down and Tegan gets caught up and scores Zane to make it 7 1 and give up the, you know, is it one out or two outs? One out. Oh, well, then you don't do that. You just take second and let Kent hit them both in. Seems simple. It's what I do. All up and in. One oh count. Runner still at first and third. I say he's coming. Well, no, he's probably going to wait for a off speed. Oh, he's doing a little dance over there. Look at him go. Willie Mays Hayes style. <laughs> From Major League, remember Willie uh -huh. Mays Hayes? I don't think I go 2 0 -oh count. He's not going off speed here. Well, and the pitcher's just not finding the strike zone anyhow, so. We're going to give Until him that, then. though. Two one count, one out. Runners at first and third. He might go here. It's one of those games, though. I mean, you know that that's going to be called. So just just spray it to the right. You know, spray it to right field. Three one. And once you get to two strikes, you just got to flip the barrel out there and let her fly. All high. But Kent never got the two strikes. That's going to load the bases for the Cats here. Gas pedal's down, boys and girls. Brings up Ethan DeSanti. It looks like the Cats' Short arms stop. are Ethan loose. Mr. Purse occasionally throwing down there just to stay loosened up. Surprised they didn't check that one. Ball one. I don't think he went. I'm just surprised they didn't check it because it was close. Ball two. Six one. Bases loaded. One out. We're in the bottom of the fifth inning. Going to get a strike call there. It's almost a spitting image of the same <laughs> of Kent's at bat a yeah. second ago. <laughs> Swings through that one, two, two count. Let's 
going to be a swing and a miss for out number two. That's going to bring in center fielder Shane DeSanti. Man, their their walk up songs are so angry. Like when you started playing that, I thought somebody was screaming at the umpire down here. <laughs> Two outs here. Young man pitching's got some decent velocity. He does. Throws it hard. He's back out of the wind up here. Ball out. 2 0 count. Starting behind again, 2 0. He should throw hard, though. His legs are as big as my waist. One leg. Fouled off. That might be a hit up that the middle. That is going to be a hit up the middle. For Shane. That's Shane, right? That's, uh, yeah, Shane. Yep. RBI single for Shane DeSanti. Baseman, Nate Aiken. We missed the courtesy runner. Who is number nine? Hey. Is he not in the lineup this game? No. Nope. Oh. So he was courtesy running for Zane there. Sorry we missed that. Brings up uh, top of the order, Nate Aikens with bases loaded. Well, I'd like to – you know, he might as well polish off his week and just go ahead and get an RBI double here. Three more runs. Just continue to build on the uh, – Well, we're going to score one here. Maybe. On the wild pitch. Ooh, I wouldn't want the number 19 landing on me. <laughs> I think – That was a ball. Yep, you're good. All right, two balls, no strikes. Mr. Aikens, RBI double, two RBI double here. I mean, tell you what, three runs, and we—that's yeah, uh, I wasn't gonna, I wasn't gonna go all the way there, but you know, we're on the same page, Bill. That's gonna it's be gonna out, get of out of play, just barely. If you're hungry, pizza and hot dogs are only a dollar. Burgers are two dollar. Pizza, one dollar. Hot dogs, one dollar. Delicious hamburgers, two bucks. Delicious. I am kind of hungry. That sounds good. But. They should have brought some up here for us. I, well, she offered. I told her. I told her we were good. Oh, well, there you go. That's my fault. I uh, I laid out a, a uh, half of a deer back strap, and I'm going to uh, slice it thick and make myself some some filet mignon out of it when I get home. So I see how it is. You weren't hungry, so therefore none of the rest of us were hungry. Is that the way it works in your world? I thought you heard her ask. I can I can message Miss Muncie. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's going to be ball four. We're going to load the bases again. Kind of feel as if uh, Blair Oaks may be running out of strike throwers. They may have had a week like ours. It's going to bring in Ross Lawrence. And you know what? Ross Lawrence. What did he do last time? Walked. He walked. Well, RBI walk, RBI single, double, triple, home run. Any of those are solid. Well, the flag is just kind of laying there. I would take any of those. Uh, yeah, exactly. Walk it off, big man. Walk it off. Ross doesn't get out on his front foot when somebody's throwing hard. Cats have batted around in this uh, this inning, haven't they? They have. 8-1 lead. Ball two, hi. This pitcher, man, he doesn't give the hitters much time. I mean, he likes to work fast, but he's kind of working himself into a quick hole. Back pick here. Back safely. Whew. That actually was a little closer than I'd like it to be. <laughs> 3-0 count to Lawrence. Two outs here. Let's see if the coach gives him a – nah, with bases loaded. you got to take. And he does. 
Ross will be like, that's the best picture of Soul all day. In case you made me take it. (laughs) Right in my wheelhouse. (laughs) Foul back. Three, two count. All right, Ross, buckle down. Be tough right here. I don't know that he had. I mean, we haven't seen an off speed out of him yet, have we? No. All fastballs. Yeah, so this will be the time that that swing and a miss. It went off speed with something there, I think. A little slider maybe? Yeah, I couldn't tell. It looked like it came in, so I would say a slider. All right, 8-1 Cats here heading to the top of the sixth inning. We are going to have a new pitcher here. Is that new Purse? Is, that is Purse. He's got a great number. Number 10. So the uh, pitcher now for the Cats will be Jackson Purse. Easton Hampton had a really nice day on the mound today for the Cats. Leave the game with an 8-1 lead. Looks like Eli Kraft is still number three. Is that Eli? Yep. Still, he's down there kind of loosening up. I think ideally uh, with an 8-1 lead, we wouldn't have to, uh, you know, warm up Lawrence again. No, I don't think. I think they were going to use him only if they needed to. And I don't think right now we need to. Now pitching for the Wildcats, number 10, Jackson Purse. The song getting me pumped up. Yeah. Top of the sixth inning here. We will have four, five, and six up for Blair Oaks. All right, Mr. Purse. Leading off the top of the sixth inning, number five. Finish them off here. Cats have eight hits today to four for Blair Oaks. Another big game going on in the area today um, is uh, Willard and Kickapoo. Yeah, I saw Willard beat Glendale. They did nine innings last night. Kickapoo hadn't. They're on like two and four or something like that. Yeah, they've they've had a. They've had a rougher start to their season than they would uh, they would like, but uh, Wendell started out well. I think Nix is one and four, so they've yeah. not had the best start of the season. Hey, going out to California and starting out there probably is a little bit of a yes. They, they said there's some good teams. One ball, two strike. Strange. There we go, swing and a miss. Gonna be one out. That's a good way to start. Great way to start. Now we can't we can't throw it around the infield. <laughs> I was watching watching a Razorback game yesterday, and they were talking about how they don't throw the ball around, and it was because the coach got mad at them because they were throwing the ball into left field, so they just quit doing it. There you go. One out here. There's the pitch. Going to be a ball low. You know, I'm sitting here and 
my phone just vibrated and I looked down and it's a uh, okay. know, news headline and certain news headlines catch your attention. Yes. <laughs> South and this is terrible. South Carolina woman's hand amputated after burning it in freak accident with a hair dryer. Huh. Yeah, that doesn't sound fun. That's exactly why I don't blow dry my hair. That uh that and you don't have any hair. <laughs> well, that too, but that's the primary reason. Called strike on the outside corner. A three one. Pulls it outside. It's gonna Who's bring on? up McCullough. Evan McCullough. McCullough is uh Oh, for two on the day. Mr. Purse is all knees and elbows. Yes, he is. Good clean arm action right over the top of the shoulder. Base hit into right field there. They're going to take third. The throw from Trent is deep, but Purse was where he needed to be to uh, make sure that they couldn't advance any further. Casey's going to ask Trent why he did that, probably. Yeah, I've got to hit the cutoff, man. The designated hitter. It was a good throw. Number 25, Harrison. Lear. It had enough on it. It had enough on it, for sure. Brings up Lear. Lear is, he's the young man that's swinging the bat well for. Yeah, yeah, I would say. Two singles on the day. This is a guy that I would handle with some kid gloves. Hits the ball hard to short. Take your out. There Atta we go. Boy. Two outs now. Good job, Mr. Purse. Get your ground ball there. First person to get him out today. Center fielder, Owen Shellman. Got two outs now. Runners at uh, Runner at third base. Falcons get a run across. Make it an 8-2 lead for... Rogersville, here's the pitch. Curveball's in there for a strike. He's kind of like I say. He kind of leans back there, and mm -hmm. and that arm kind of comes out of a spot. You don't. I mean, it's it's very clean delivery. It just kind of comes out of that that spot there. That I would guess is kind of hard for caught by the left fielder Rousey for out number three. It's kind of hard for a hitter to pick up. Yeah, you know, with uh the way he his front arm and Knees and elbows kind of fly around there. It's a very deceptive delivery. It does have a deceptive delivery. I guess is what I was trying to get to. Cats are going to take it to the bottom of the sixth with an 8-2 lead. I used a lot of words to do it. New, p new pitcher, number nine. How's it spelled? Bushost. I would guess. I would guess the J is silent. Now pitching. Good. It could be a you know a YJ. I don't. Yeah, I mean, I think you did a fine job. Brings up really. Jackson or Rousey. We're so worried about getting his name. <laughs> Is that a Panera cinnamon crunch bagel there? George's. George's is the best donut in town. Ball two. 
fan donuts sound fantastic. Yes, they do. Ball up. Ball three. I think Casey gives him the green. And I think he did because he's just turned his back. He's like, I don't even want to watch, but here you go ahead and swing. <laughs> I think he just wants to get Jackson's back going, so he'll probably let him swing if it's in there, but it's not. It's ball four. Jackson will take his base. It's going to bring up Carter Hill. Carter had a nice single into right field last at bat, scored a run. Now batting the second baseman, Carter Hill. Oh, just four four runs away, Bill. We need a four, four run home Four run. runs or three outs. Well, then we still got a. No, four runs or three oh, there outs you go. away. Yeah, you got it. Topped it. That's going to be a tough play. They're going to go to second there. Back. No play at first base. I really didn't think they'd had a shot at Rousey there. Oh, but I didn't either. Now comes the glow stick. Zane Hunter. Now batting the catcher. Number 13, Zane Hunter. Zane is uh, 0 for 2 on the day. Gonna get a cold strike on the outer corner. I'm just amazed at well how well his batting gloves match the bat. Mm-hmm. And the shoes, yeah. I mean, he's straight out of an eighties flick, you know. I mean, like <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Zane is a jazzer size coach. Good swing there. Foul it off. Strike two. Right on it. There's the cow. Oh, Bessie's been hit two or three times today. You'd think she'd move. It, well, I think she does. I think we're just really good at hitting her. Ball magnet, huh? Way outside. Two balls, two strikes. I do think Blair Oaks has probably used a lot of pitching this. Yeah. Best I can tell. Yeah, yeah, see. Uh, Is it a foul ball or are they going to? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Yeah, the crowd barking at the umpire probably doesn't help with this decision because now the way the Blair Oaks car crowd was barking. Now, I, I agree that. You know, he he I, was in, he was swinging. I don't, but I don't know if he. You know what I mean? Like right. that's that's an in between. But uh, you know, I agree if if they determine that. Yeah, once the uh, once the crowd gets loud like that, you kind of know as a coach. Now the coach is going to come over and talk to him, and by talk to him, I mean yell at him. <laughs> <laughs> Not happy. I don't think so. He was in his load, and then like he, you know, it's an aggressive take that these kids do these days, and uh, you know, it's of course after the coach kind of talks to the umpire. No, yeah. not done yet. No, he's doing he's doing the old walk and talk. So now we have runners in first and second. First pinch to Trent is a strike. I'd like to see Tegan go right center here. Tegan's had a nice day today. I think he's uh, two for two for three. Two singles. Good to see his back going. Ball's going to go outside. One one count. One out here. Is that going to stay in? Nope. It's going to get out of here. Foul ball for strike number two. We had a fan that made a really nice play on that ball. If this were banana baseball, that'd be an out. Yes. 
No, oh, struck him out. Never saw him make the call there. That's going to be the second out. Cats have two outs here. We're going to put a pinch runner in for our catcher. It's going to be number nine. Courtesy runner number nine, A.J. Muncy, now batting with the first baseman, number 19, Braden Kent. Brings up Braden Kent here with two outs. Runners at first and second. Here's the pitch. Foul ball. Did you give me some pizza there? Pizza. Pizza for everyone. How come you didn't put some pizza on my front doorstep? <sighs> well, <laughs> Bill, I will later tonight. I'll ding-dong ditch you a piece of cold pizza. They come in here wanting to give us free food. You tell them no. Kids, man. Kids, they, they just think they got to eat multiple meals a day. I don't understand it. 0-2 pitch. That ball Popped up. That's going to stay good. in fair territory. Catcher makes a nice play on it. Four out number three. All right, that takes us to the top of the seventh. Cats leading eight to two. <laughs> well, this will be it if we can Hopefully. hold them. We're going to have nine, one, and two. That equals 12. 12 pitches. How long did it take you to figure that out? I said that like five minutes ago. I'm a bit delayed. Maybe I need, I mean, <laughs> I'm a little hazy right now. I just refuse to eat anything until I get my dear tenderloin flay medallions done. You want to come have a flay medallion? I'll let you, uh, I'll let you eat your flay. You know, this will sound stupid, but I've never really been a big deer fan. Oh, you've never had it cooked right. Well, Cats, uh, hasn't had it cooked right, has he, Brian? See? It's all right. Some people just have, some people are just wrong. Well, our, our, clearly our, our taste buds are more sophisticated than his. Yeah. Or maybe not so wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody come help me, please. So if the Cats can hold them here. Cats uh, had a nice week. First week of baseball. Uh, if, if they and finish four and one with this schedule we've had this week, I'd yeah. be, I'm if impressed. They can, if they can hang on here, yeah, absolutely. So uh, join us again. It's supposed to rain, but 4:30 on uh, Monday we'll play, be playing Hillcrest right here at Rogersville. Ball high. You know where I'll be at 4:30 on Monday? Right here. No. Where? I will be on my way to Arkansas. Oh, that's right. Can pra you practice day? Call strike. Can you be here um, Monday or Tuesday? Uh, Blythe plays in Harrison on Tuesday, so I'm going to try to get down there to that one. If I can manage to get out of the office, if I don't call strike, if I, if I have to be at the office, then I'll try to be here. My schedule is a little bit. Chaotic right now. Brian has to uh, that's a swing and a miss for out number one. That's a good way to start it. Now batting first baseman, Eden Blackman. Low. Good spot, but low. <laughs> Popped him up. Got it in on his handle, but he still gave it a little ride out there to center field. Two well, outs quickly two. here for Mr. Purse and the Cats. He's one out away. Now, batting for the catcher, Nolan Laughlin. Now, he's... If he gets this third out, he's two innings in. Does that qualify him for a high school save, or does that does it have to be three? 
Uh, you know what? I, I'm not sure. You'd think two. You would think so because you have to go five to get the win. Right. So that would only leave. I'm going to give him the save. I would anyway, as long as he gets this third out. I think he will. Oh. That was a little – I think that one was a little bit up there. One ball, one strike, two outs here. This again. gentleman doesn't look as tall as the rest of the lineup. <laughs> no. <laughs> Ground ball here, pass. Third base foul. Bring the count to one ball, two strikes. Here in the top of the seventh, Cat, Cats need one more out to uh, finish this one off. Foul ball. Oh, he was he was an inch away. <laughs> For a minute, Zane says, give me that one back. I bet it's got a little notch in it from where the end of that <laughs> bat hit it. Let's throw let's throw something nasty here with that thing. It's lopsided. Ground ball here. That's going to be a tough, tough play. He's got some pretty. He's pretty fast. Courtesy runner number 16 coming in. Two outs now, runner at first. Here's the pitch. Oof, good low pitch there. Low, low. low. Mr. Purse, get you a ground ball. That ball's giving a ride. Back goes the left fielder off the bottom of the wall. Great job getting to it. That's going to hold the runner up at third base. Yeah, he did a nice job getting that in, didn't he? Yeah, he did. It's going to be a double. Runner's now at second and third. Yeah, Rousey played that ball. You can't really play that ball any better. Two outs here, runners at second and third. Strike one. Nice pitch. Boy, Mr. Purse, way to get ahead. Now everything else is much more effective. Left that one outside touch. Oh. <laughs> Our crowd's getting excited. That, foot, that ball was 18 inches outside. Everybody wants this one to be over, you know. One ball, one strike. Two outs. Eight two lead for the Cats. Left it outside again. Come on, Jackson. You got it, kid. Trying to get the uh, pitch call in from the dugout. Mather was probably over there carving on a wooden spoon or something. <laughs> He's going to start sending smoke signals. 2-1 pitch. Called <laughs> Zane strike. got that call. Goodness sakes. Two balls, two strikes, two outs here in the top of the seventh. Runners at second and third. Probably start that on his hip, a curveball, and let it come over the inside corner. Gonna be about what they ball. did. That's going to be a little bit of trouble. Gets past Canton into the dugout, so that's going to put a runner at second base with two outs. You have a hit there? Uh, yeah, that'd be a hit with an air on the advance. I guess they're going to – and that went in the dugout. Maybe it hit the fence. Hmm. I thought it rolled all the way through. <laughs> Mr. Purse, I need you to get through this one here because I got a pop-up here on the infield. Foul territory. Hunter 
It's go oh, Hunter and Aikens miscommunication there. Eight four cat still with the lead. Craft throwing a little more aggressively in the bullpen for the cats. Runner at first base, one strike count. Just need out here, boys. Little out, little out. One one. Take your deep breath, young man. Finish this one out. Fouled out. A play. One two count. What song you got queued up here for when they get the third out? All right. There we go. One ball, two strikes, two outs here in the top of the seventh. Cats enjoy an 8-4 lead. Here's the pitch. <laughs> That's ball. the curveball he needed to throw. Yes. A few batters ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it's there, you know. That's a good job now. That's in his head. So now you can go back away because that ball is inside and potentially get a chase here. And honestly, I wouldn't go away with the curveball. I would dot the fastball on the white batter's box line. But he went away with the curveball and got strike three. Swing and a miss. That'll do it. Cats take the win here, eight to four, over a number 10 ranked Blair Oaks program. Get a ball game with the score. Blair Oaks four and Sophomore Easton Hampton with the start went five strong. Relieved by Jackson Purse, the freshman, who went two solid innings to hold uh, Blair Oaks down, and uh, Cats come out of this week, you said, four and one. Four and one. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. You figure. You know, beginning, again, I talked to Casey the Friday before season started. He said he was hoping to come, you know, this week would be like a three-two week, something like that mm -hmm. would be a real success, getting these young guys some, some experience early. There's going to be some growing pains, but uh, they've all stepped up and, uh, and ran, you know, done well this week, so. Well, you think about it, we beat a 6A opponent in Republic, a 5A opponent in Branson, and then today we beat the number one 4A team in the state and the number 10 4A team in the state. Yeah. And we lost to Springdale, Arkansas, who's a 6A school from Arkansas. Yeah, so that's pretty good uh, I'll pretty take good those week. odds. Absolutely. Yeah, so. Well, I'm Bill Lawrence. I'm Chase Blakey. And uh, join, us, join us on Monday. Go Cats. <laughs>